No, he's down, he's down. No! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> that was just too awesome, that fucking me. Uh, 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 Welcome back, everybody, to State of the K, episode number four. Breakdown DLC Year 1 Edition. You know the routine at this point. Let's get underway. Off camera, I was looking at these upgrades over here. And before we do that, check this out. Because we have an infirmary home, we got we were able to contain an epidemic that might have actually gone through our entire base and infected everybody. So, luckily for us, we did have over that already in tune. So, a new group of survivors. Your map should have the location. Oh, nice. All right, cool. I'll check into that pretty soon. So, right. What I want to do right now is actually get some upgrades. So, if I come over down to the outpost thing, I could actually upgrade the other outpost that we have. So I did that. I already set up a trap over there for passing hordes. So that, I guess that extends the area of protection for our base right now momentarily. But what we want to do is actually go to the basic workshop and get the upgrade to the workshop. It'll take us 15 minutes, but it'll give us decent tools, automatically repair body and tire damage for vehicles parked overnight, and also construction expertise. So our vehicles will be able to recover some HP over time as long as they're parked. So that's great. So let's do that. It's going to take us 25 materials and 50... Influence, we have the influence, we have the materials, so let's go ahead and grab that one up and running. 15 minutes, great. And let's see, medical area, I want to get more upgrades to this, definitely. I'm going to do it. Better healthcare is actually really important to me. Now, here's my question, hold on, before I do this. Do these upgrades carry over to the new location? Because if they don't, I feel like I'm throwing away materials, but at least meanwhile... Oops, mouse, get out of here, mouse, I'm using the controller, not you. Um, so my worry is that it's not going to obviously tail over, but at the same time, I'm not sure when I'm going to get the other ten or the other three survivors that we need, so maybe meanwhile I should get the upgrade just to be on the safe side. Yeah, you know what, I'll do it. I can always get more materials later, I guess, right? So upgrade the infirmary. Yes. Okay. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now, we're going to be using Peyton here today so I can level this guy up. Let me go into getting you a backpack. What are you using here? Table leg? No, that's not going to do. Let's go ahead and maybe get you... Mm, I don't want to get this hatchet over here. Paper cutter arm. <laughs> Garden limb saw. We have the rusty kukri. That'll probably break pretty fast, I would say, huh? Let me go with the hatchet. Maybe it works out. It's a bladed weapon still, right? And we definitely want to take some medication so I don't get hurt. And some Twinkies so we can take care of stamina. We'll just do that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and the Molotovs, yeah. Just in case we run into, like, those big-ass uh, juggernauts again. I don't want to wind up like last episode where I was like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? So, advice upgrade the workshop. I already did that game. And we have a much bigger radius now of defense, which is great. Okay, cool. If we off-road, we could probably check in the community member and then do that one. So, you know what? Let's check in first. And then we will off-road over to that survivor. Um, we'll definitely take a pickup here. I could bring somebody with me as well. Mm, no! No, don't! Do not! No, you're, you're ruining my Fast and the Furious vehicle here. Let's, uh... Yeah. You stay over here, buddy. I need you to recover, because you're really fast. You'll be useful whenever I have to speed up somewhere. Oh, hey! How you guys doing? No! Don't just start this shit. Leave the vehicle alone. It's done nothing to you. It's done nothing to you! Alrighty, guys, just a heads up, there's zombies outside if you want to take care of those, okay? Uh, I gotta go. I got stuff to do. The location rec uh, discovered. Hey, you're just hanging out over here, huh? I'm not alone. Hey. So, go back home. Preferably after helping me out. No, you're not gonna help me out, you're just gone. Okay, cool. Well, I'll just take care of this myself, and... This is a warehouse, huh? Ooh. This could be a good location for some extra fuel. Now, we do need fuels for the trap, not the trap, well, the traps for the outpost, essentially, you know, so... If we don't help out soon, it may be too late. You may need to hurry. Who are you talking about? See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. What are you hurrying me about? I got missions to do over here, I already know. You, you can't have me do everything in one dose. By the way, have you seen this map? <laughs> have you seen everything around this? Yeah. That's no good. This place is infested with Zamros. Alright, let's load this into the vehicle. We might be able to hold off another attack if we're lucky. Oh, you guys were attacking all those gone or what? Outpost. We should set up more. Well, that's good. Yeah, I'll try to build a few more. Okay, I see those zombies clipping through. You stay outside. 
Stay out there. Don't come in here. Oh, nice. These are materials. I do want those. I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. There was another rock stack there for fuel. This might be the last one. Well, fortunately, they're not coming around. We finally caught a break, and I live. All right, and we searched the entire warehouse. Great. Out of here. The zombies are inside, but luckily for me, we're done here. Let's move away a little bit. I want to find out how to get to that other person. Okay, that's going to be right there. Armored Zed, Armored Zed. Scavenger. This might be a person we could save. I'll All right. This. We're going to off-road the entire way there. Do what you can. Assuming I can do that. Up. Oh. Uh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this, guys. I'm not sure where this guy is at. It looks like he's up this mountain area. Let's just stick close. Maybe I can find a way to kind of curve in. Okay, maybe through here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That wasn't too bad. Alright. Zambro's around. Hey, over here. It's Cash again. Cash, what the fuck are you doing all over the place all the time? Alright. I think we should be able to go mono. Oh, that was good. I got you. Now, you guys tell me there's like different abilities in this game, like when it comes to like drop kicks and stuff like that. I need to look into that because I am getting tired of just smashing X over and over. But it's kind of like my first. You've got this place locked down. Oh, abandoned site. Clear. Is that all you need to do? That's fine. I'll go ahead. Lucky they didn't hear that. Nothing left. Fully searched. Survivor activity. So did they talk to you or what? I'm there we go. I'm not be able to get everything home myself anyways. Give me a hand and I'll split the loot with you. Get out of here. This stuff is mine. It's a cold hearted move, but once these resources are gone, they're gone for good. Or we could just go um, split it half and half. I guess right. we'll split it. Be ready in a minute. Guard the perimeter, of course. Clear out the inside. Well, I'm not sure what you're expecting to find there, my friend, because I did technically already looted. <laughs> so I inadvertently beat you to it. He's down, he's down. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> that was just too awesome, that fucking me. Okay. I was just too happy about the Matrix pause in the air. I really don't want to do this. Boom. Push him against the wall and you're done. You a badass motherfucker. You know that? I know I am a badass motherfucker. You gotta tell me. So we're done? Trust gain. Alrighty, cool. We're done. Alrighty, so you are home. There you go. Go. Go, dog. Oh, come on. Gotta walk you to the doorstep or what? Yeah, hi, Mr. Anderson. Oh, yeah, no, the date was great, yeah. Cash was, um, you know, good. The the, the, the dinner was all right. We paid a tab and everything. Okay, no, I assure you she didn't drink anything. Here, just like we agreed. <laughs> hey, there's something weird coming over the radio. It's really strong, like it's super close by. Here, listen. This is Cleo. Order at DC. 1-1 Tango Mike Papa. 2-5 Charlie Zero. 5 Romeo. This is Cleo. Order at DC. It just goes on like that. Can you keep an eye out for something like a transmitter or a beacon? I don't know what you're looking for. Uh, investigate the signal. You know, I've watched that movie before, The Signal. You don't want to investigate it. It's no good. The signal's bad. Expired Zed hunt that didn't go well. I don't care. I wasn't trying to do it. <laughs> I could go away. I was purposely trying to avoid it. Oh, there's a signal right there. Going back home. There's an issue with the infirmary. I know we wanted to make some improvements, but we're missing a few things. We can track it down, or find another way. But it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. Hang on, I saw a transmission coming in, I think. You folks got any room at the end? <gasps> you might want to go check it out. Cash wants to join! Yeah! Alrighty, sweet, him and his crew. That should give us ten people we can move. Alrighty, cool. So we have a few things How's to do. Let's go and finally shut up. I'm trying to talk to the people right now. 
So, potentially... Oh, fudge. Potentially, if um, we get him to join, that'll give us ten people, because he was with, there with two more people, right? So there was like three, I have seven, that would make us ten, we can move. Um, we have a couple of things to do, though. We have to go and get those nails for the medical workshop upgrade. So before they can finish the upgrade, we need some nails. So we can do that. Found this while I was out. Mm, what you got? A oh, lot of good stuff is what I got. Alrighty, fellas. You ready to go? Ready to join a good um community? Cause if you are, I'm welcome to have you. I don't think we're gonna make it much. What do you think? Join us. Thanks. You just saved our lives. Yeah. Come with me. Happy to help. What are you? What are you doing? You're gathering your stuff. Quiet. Now, can you all fit into this? Yeah, you should be able to. It's like a, a four door car. It's three people. Get in here. Oh, they get in the pickup as well, or in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Ah! Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh, there's a horde behind me, too. Swell. I know I'm not a good person to reverse. I'm not a good person to drive in general. They spotted us. That's alright. That's alright. Alrighty. That should be ten people in our population, so we could actually move to the, like, the place I want to move, which is going to be down here, mind you. I think that's it, Thanks. actually. We got it from here. Maybe it's not that one. I know where it's at, I just don't know it on the map just yet. Alrighty, cool, cool. You guys got it from here? Uh-huh. Do-do-do. do Alright. Let's go in here and find out what ten people will do for- Oh, we need the nails, though. Right. Now that feels good. Need those nails. Alrighty, friendly survivors have been added. Ten population, we can move now. Sweet. Um, Alright, let's find out what's happening here. Let's remove some of these things. So I want to keep Dane. Hey, babe. And you come with me. Now, are you um equipped here, Nicholas White? I hope you're equipped, my friend. Let's um go. Here's a question. Can I bring more than one person? What's up? Yes. So long. I think. What's up? Casualano cannot accompany you right now, refuses. Bye. Is that because I already have somebody or because I can't... I have to do something that women win him over. I'm not sure. I think it's maybe just because I already have somebody so you can only hear one extra person. I'll check this out next. More people would make it a lot easier, I suppose. Time. So, let's see, let's see. Nails? That question mark disappeared just now, didn't it? No, it's back now. Hmm. Well, look at it this way. We have to come over here if we're going to take this road over that narrow area. Because right there's like water, so we can't get there anyway. So I, I suppose we might as well go over to that one first. And then we'll take this road down. And I'm thinking next episode we're going to probably wind up moving. If we don't help out soon, it may be too late. And time's not exactly on our side, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure who you're asking me to help. If it's a zombie infestation, let me know there's a person there. Don't just say zombie infestation. It kind of confuses me a bit. Um, but next episode, I think we're moving over to the warehouse. Right? It's like Sydney's warehouse, something like that. Somebody told me in the comments that it was actually a really good place to actually make your base at for the first level. So I do believe that's where we're going to be going. Sydney's warehouse. But right now, we're, it's almost time for us to start wrapping it up. But before we wrap up, I do want to get to this infestation and get some more progress done here before... It's all set and done. I guess we could just kind of bushwhack through here. Let's take care of you guys this way. Don't ruin the car, Falcon. Alrighty. Zombie infestation. Is this really a person? I was people, after all. Come here. I gotta talk to you. Alrighty. You here to help? Come on! Let's clear this place out! <laughs> Deal with it. Alrighty. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Zed's up ahead. Head to the infestation. Oh, it's elsewhere. So Nicholas is going home now, and these people are going to roll with me. So it does seem like we can carry more than one person, an extra person with us in the party. Maybe. Nicholas, watch out. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? I'm not sure why don't you accept the ride. <laughs> oh, you're taking somebody else? Well, don't mind me. I'm going to leg it back home. Well, I don't know. Be safe, it's dog, I guess. Now. Don't give up now. Clear the infestation. Well, as long as it's not like 
Get off the car. Get off the car. We should be able to deal with this. Oh, Screamer. Screamer down. Get off, Fanny. <laughs> Look at Nicholas over there running. <laughs> Why don't you accept the ride from me, Nick? I don't get it. Oh, Screamer. No siree, Bob. Hey. My car is not long for this world, so I hope this infestation is almost done here. Looks there it is. Clear to me. That's it. That's all I did. So, neutral attitude. I guess they'll be like the same, like, Cassius group. After a little while, we should be able to maybe entice him into joining us after doing a couple of more good deeds. Alrighty, that's pretty good. So we got that done. I'm going to wrap it up here. We'll come back next episode. I'll go grab the nails for the medical upgrade, and then we move over to the new location. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.